On behalf of the Center for Policy Research, it's an absolute privilege for me to announce our 49th anniversary. Uh, it's a momentous moment, uh, given that we are now entering a, a big anniversary for the institution. And it's also an important moment for us to reflect on who we are as a policy research think tank um, and where we want to go uh, in the future. The fifth, a golden anniversary is a moment to celebrate the past, reflect on our strengths, our limitations, and open ourselves up to the great and grand possibilities of the future. An old institution has a privilege of having been a witness to many momentous, great and grand policy moments, and perhaps also the opportunity to be part of that history. Scholars at CPR back in the 1980s and early 1990s played a pivotal role in the shaping of the 1991 moment when the econ Indian economy uh, uh, divested itself of the old license raj and embarked on a new journey towards free markets and liberalism, deregulation was the mantra of the day. And several scholars at CPR played an important role, both in shaping public consensus, as well as shaping the policy moment towards that goal. In the 1990s, scholars at CPR spent a lot of time both reflecting on and engaging with the emerging challenges and opportunities of the deepening of Indian democracy that the 1990s threw up as the regionalization of Indian democracy became a central part of what shaped the policy narrative. But it was also a time of important moments uh, in South Asia's history that several scholars at CPR had an important role to play in. The 2000s were an important shift uh, in the sense that the nature of the challenges that the world was beginning to confront as the consequences of globalization uh, began to unfold, uh, started uh, presenting themselves. At one level, there was the emergent challenge of climate. At another, there was uh, big questions around the promises of India's economic uh, opening up that had not yet quite been fulfilled. Parts of the reform agenda still needed further push, but more importantly, the challenges of governance, the challenges of accountability, the challenges of addressing the, the in some senses, 20th century challenges of public services confronted us in a big way. This was also a time when uh, the question of the role of a think tank uh, began to make itself front and center. Is a think tank a space for generating new research, new ideas to stay within the context of its ivory towers, akin to a university in a sense, or is the role of a think tank far more about engaging with the public sphere, the, uh, and more importantly, the policy sphere? CPR in this phase through the late 2000s into the 2010s played an important role in balancing both the relevance of critical deep research to policy. So asking difficult questions and staying with those questions over time. I think as an institution, we were very much at the forefront of shaping debates and discourse around issues like climate change, environmental policy, urbanization. Should we be focusing on mega policies? Should we be focusing on small towns? Uh, governance, the shifting relationship of citizen state dynamics um, and the whole question of state capacity as it began to unfold. Uh, so we so we were very much at the forefront of, of, of shaping the terms of the discourse around these issues, but also very actively engaged in the everyday dynamic of making and shaping policy or rather contributing to the making and shaping of policy. Uh, in some senses, this trend has continued into our present moment. But the questions have become more complex. The world as we know it today is undergoing massive disruptions. Uh, some would say that the world is almost in complete turmoil. And India's role in the midst of this turmoil, as India comes to terms with the shifting dynamics of geopolitics, the changes internally within um, uh, in the, uh, the contestations within Indian democracy, the contestations within domestic policy, making uh, are all coming to the fore against the backdrop of this global turmoil. Uh, it's time now for India not just to ask those questions all over again, but rebuild po public consensus around uh, the appropriate policy direction for India uh, as we grapple with these new and more complex challenges. 
this is what we are focusing on and have been focusing on in the last few years even as we've been part of all the turmoil covid 19 upended all that we know and we spent two years making sense of the big uh, transitions as the world opened up we confronted both the consequences of climate that that have further accelerated as well as the challenges on the economy uh, placed by uh, geopolitical pressures and the, uh, the 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 expanding our inequality or the deepening inequality that covid brought to the forefront um these are some of the issues that we are grappling with today at cpr at the heart of all of this is the question of what it will take to build a robust strong uh, 21st century state 21st century public institutions that have the capability to lead us through these complex transitions and make ourselves an institution that is strong rigorous with a dynamic and agile uh, institutional backbone that is able to respond to the challenges we confront today in all of this as we head into our 50th year we do have to ensure that the institution stays strong and that the institution's commitment to deepening democratic discourse in this country is enabled for this we are going to be launching a fundraising campaign to build the backbone of the institution 50 at 50 is our goal and i hope that all of you will come to support us as we achieve this thank you